Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to All Beer Inside, back at the brewery editions of the episode. Today we are in the Barry, Ontario region at Flying Monkeys Brewing Company with Andrea and Peter. Yay! Yay! Thank you very much for hosting us today. It's truly appreciated that you're taking time out of your schedule to let us talk to you. Oh God, thanks for beer. making us part of your stop in downtown Barry. Appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Long voyage out here. Yeah, six hour drive after, so that's uh, it's a bit, but it's worth it. Cause, oh, you guys are going home right after this? Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, but it's worth it because you brought me out some delicious beers to try today. Uh, what am I starting with? Good question. I think Coors Light. Uh, okay, sweet. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the best beer I've ever. Had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. No, you're actually starting with an experimental beer. Awesome. Yeah, kind of. We give most of our beers an experimental name before we release them. So right now, I think its working name is Crushy Boy. The working name is Crushy Boy, but there's a little bit of a story behind this because you guys have been to a lot of breweries, right? Yes. And we're known for like our hop forward beers, <laughs> doing wacky things with hops, and there's just a time where you want to sit down and have a lager or a yeah. pilsner. Now. Years ago, we had a Pilsner. Uh, we called it a, as a Canadian Pilsner, and it was called Mythology, and it won like a Canadian Brewing Award, and it was fantastic. But I don't know what happened. It just kind of dwindled away, and we missed it. So we well, said, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's brew a really good modern craft lager. Well, let's um, qualify that too. Just to kind of change the expectation. So, so this is a modern lager, mm-hmm. yeah. which we identify in our view is something that is unfiltered. Okay, yep. so it's not as bright as a typical lager, mm-hmm. but on the same time, it's probably the only lager I know in, cra- in the craft realm, uh, really built with six-row malt. Yeah. So very unusual, very uh, something unique. Yeah. So try it. It's, so uh, yeah. So uh, it's a long good. distance. So we're, 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 to- uh, we say cheers. toast on the no, show. Yeah. No, and I won't spit at you either. Yeah. <laughs> a toast. Yeah. I won't say here spit in your eye. <laughs> No, not, not right now. As you can see, we are distancing to keep things safe. So. To your health. And we do have our masks handy. If uh, the government decides to make uh, a little stop, we can just mask up real quick. Yeah. So, All right. Uh, what's the alcohol percentage on this, roughly? 4.7. Yeah. So it's just pure oh, refreshment. Clean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Pure. Like slight maltiness. Yeah. It's very, yeah. very clean It's beer. got a very slight graininess to it. Oh. But, I mean, the color, very, very approachable. Yeah. This is... Super, super tasty. I could definitely see myself on the beach having a bunch of these with a designated driver <laughs> or maybe just two and then driving myself after a couple hours. So. We, yeah, we, we, and to do this, we really, we sampled probably every craft logger yeah. out there, every macro logger out we got there. Everything we could find. Yeah, so. From European all the way to, you know, Canadian, American, mm-hmm. just to see, you know, where, where are you fitting? What, how are you different? And um, how do you not make it taste like you're drinking a glass of corn syrup? Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah and, or a two-row mess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, oh, oh, sorry, corn syrup with grass in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is super, I mean, I destroyed this. It's great. This it is, is, crushing, it is super just that so. easy one that's when you want to have when you're just coming in for a quick beer, it's lunchtime, whatever. Uh, yeah, fantastic beer. Yeah, it's uh, going super in cans. Super easy going down. It's going so. in cans for sure. So. Right, we're looking, looking forward to this at the LCBOs in Ontario. Yeah. So. I, I think yeah. it's important also, when we, I think when we, when we brew each beer, we look at it almost like it's the last beer we're ever going to brew too. It's such an important part of when we develop. It's not just what's inside the beer. It's everything from mm-hmm. the name to the package. You name it. We put our heart and soul yeah, into yeah. everything. Yeah, it's your brand, right? So yeah. you're, you're, yeah. you're drawing people yeah. eyeballs and every. Well, it has a purpose too. Everything. You know, when we brew something, we brew what we want to drink. Mm-hmm, for you sure. Know, and it's not, and we, but we also know, like, well, not everybody wants to drink what we drink. <laughs> That's <laughs> but, true. That's but, true. But it's fun, and it, and it was it was fun to change it up too because. People start to think, oh, the flying monkeys, they just do those hoppy beers. Yeah. And they forget that we, we don't. We have a pretty big range yeah. of, of uh, styles that we brew. We've been around for, shoot, 16 years now. Yeah. So speaking of the 16 years, what created the Flying Monkeys brand? What made you two decide, let's open a brewery in Barrie, Ontario? Lots of mistakes. <laughs> we're really, in fact, we're probably the best brewery, I think, in my view, yeah. in the world for, uh, yeah. for making mistakes. Yeah. So we're, we're not dumb, but we're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. So for every mistake that you yeah. you've made, we probably made ten of those. Yeah. So we're okay. really, no, no yeah. I would say everything we've done that was dumb, we were just young. But the but you know, sixteen years ago, the industry was forgiving. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's a different ball game now, and, and we've grown with it. And I, I like to say we've pioneered a lot of the growth of the of the Ontario craft beer scene. You know, and um, so we started out. You guys, everybody knows the story. We started out as Robert Simpson. We just realized. Well, before that, we started out at Simcoe Steam Brewery. Sim- Simpo- Simcoe Steam Brewing Company, right? Okay. Oh, we, oh, we could tell you the whole story. Yeah, but sure. Everybody's heard it. Um, <laughs> we started out with that, and then I got a phone call one night, and 
it was Fritz Maytag. And I laughed and I was like, Fritz Maytag, like lonely Maytag repairman. And he said, yeah, I just got to let you know you're named in a lawsuit. And he had trademarked the word steam because of anchor steam. He owns the San Francisco yep. Bay Brewing Company. And he said, I just noticed here, you guys, have you put out a brand yet? Have you, have you done anything? I said, no. He goes, look, I, the, the machine's running. I can't. He I, said he I can't would take you out. It I'll we, litigate if, it. Yeah. But he goes, look, you guys are little. Everybody's been there. If you could change your name now, it'd be fine. Um, a steam Whistle was named in the lawsuit. Mm-hmm. A mm-hmm. Sleemans at the time was Steam. Not they the were same named. Lawsuit. They were just going to litigate yeah. and basically to protect steam. their uh, intellectual yeah. property. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we really quickly pivoted and said, well, oh my gosh, uh, Sam Adams, Brewer Patriot. We have Robert Simpson. He was the mayor of Barry. It was Barry's sesquicentennial. We went with that historical white that was dead my shitty guy idea. historical <laughs> thing. <laughs> it had fine. a story. We did it. It was half-hearted. We didn't really believe in it for a while. Well, I mean, you know, when we you're were getting creating ca- history. Yeah, you're getting caught off. Like, yeah, yeah you got to change your name. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. So. And back then, like I remember like 16 years ago in Ontario, everybody was named after a geographical region or a landmark or mm-hmm. some dead, dead white, white guy, guy right you know and it was and it was kind of like it reflected i would say like the canon of literature or the way people looked at arts in general and so we said you know what we need something with more opportunity something mm-hmm. with more creativity something that speaks to us right so and I'm that's assuming wizard of oz yeah. fans then no it just it just seemed to be that there was um, chaos there for the taking <laughs> awesome. you know you know I would agree. Yeah. Well, it came from a name on our back porch that said, don't make me get my flying monkeys. Yeah, it was a sign. From the Wizard out of Oz. Yeah, okay. yeah. But, yeah, yeah, it sort of inspired us. It did. Hey, it's very unique, I got to say. Like, yeah. uh, And more so, like you said, you have 16 years of history in Barry, so it's this yeah. is the place to come to from what I've, I've seen online. Yeah. And you do have a few other friends in the area we'll speak of later. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you guys seem to be the place to be. Every time I'm at the LCBO, it's like, for me, Christmas time, Chocolate Manifesto every year. Thank you. Um, Putting my kids through college. I yeah. love you. So it's uh, it's mind blowing. It's uh, we've we talked about it on our, our our audio podcast. I'm like it's drinking chocolate milk. Yeah. It's delicious chocolate milk with a little bit of alcohol. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and that one that's another one that we've had. Chocolate Manifesto has been around. I don't know how long, Peter? Donkey's age. Yeah, donkey's <laughs> age, actually. Um, you know, because it was in the big 750. Then we yeah. had down to the 473 bottle, and um, this is the first year it's gonna be coming out in a can on the shelves in the kids. That's uh, they asked for it, you know. Give the Green people what changer. they want. That's, uh, um, this is your market right now, is the cans. So, pretty much, yeah. yeah. And and um, you'll see uh, paranormal there. So it's another ten mm-hmm. percent big beer, and it was the first one that came out in cans. And I thought, who the heck is gonna, you know, this box and this bottle? They're beautiful. They're fun. You got more. It's like an album cover. There's more to yeah. read. You yeah. can tell I do all the writing and stuff. <laughs> but um, you know what? I love it in a can. Yeah. It, it really translated well, and the beer holds up just as fantastically as it did in the the bottle. Fantastic. Uh, so Flying Monkeys, obviously, uh, the litigation, but any other major roadblocks and difficulties you both ran into creating Flying Monkeys' as brand, the location, things like that? That's rebranding I, four I th- years in. Yeah, I think that there's, <laughs> yeah. I, I really, you have, we have to be honest with ourselves. I mean, this is, this is a uh, very intensive or capital intensive industry, and so it really just takes a lot of horsepower to keep it alive. And I think you're going to see that with a lot of breweries. I mean, there's 300 breweries in Ontario and uh, it takes a lot of money to keep it going especially in those first few years when mm-hmm. you're making you know probably the shittiest beer and also you know the most inconsistent beer and you're trying to get your name out there and once once that sort of novelty wears off once the honeymoon is over probably the most difficult time in year five i would say um, so you know you're, i think you get curveballs thrown at you every three or four months in this industry and so it's really how you can survive those yeah. Yeah. And, and it is a fun industry. Yeah, yeah. and it, it, it's, an, it's a, an industry now that has very much an accelerated culture. Yeah. You know, like we, uh, we would say year five, we, we, you could stumble around a bit, but you have to emerge on the scene fully formed now. You have to just spring Agreed. from the forehead of Zeus like Athena, perfect. <laughs> you know, because, and because people build their breweries and, you know, they want to go production right away and yeah. they want to be in the LCBOs and they want to, you know, be in all of the, the different chains. Uh, I want to be in the grocery store. I want to be on the beer mm-hmm. store. So there's not a lot of room to make mistakes. And, no. and it, it's hard. It's hard because when you have small breweries or, or just new breweries doing that, and then they turn out beer that's not perfect, yeah. it hurts it for everybody. Oh, like we crucified. try really hard. That's one reason why we are obsessed with making sure that we have quality and everything. Because we're like, one guy drinks one Flying Monkeys beer that's crap. Mm-hmm. Number one, they're not going to drink Flying Monkeys anymore. Yeah. But, the, but then they're not going to try Ontario craft beer. And we're messing it up for all of our brethren you know, in the province. 
That's a you great know? way to look yeah, at it too. It absolutely I like is. That you're, you're part you, of a larger community. <laughs> you, uh, I'm I'm very adamant about support local right now. Support yeah. you know support yeah. the small guys. Yeah. You yeah. you're one of the bigger small guys when when I see you on on the amount of shelves you're on, yeah. uh, and you just showed us your production facility yeah. for a lot um, and facility. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes worse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's huge. Uh, I mean, a, ro- a robot is doing your packing. That is. It's amazing. a yeah. small, so. small. I mean, it's forty-four hundred square yeah. feet. It's tiny. Yeah, yeah. We would, so. we would. Yeah, some guy would be, mm-hmm. <laughs> would yeah. be killed yeah. back there trying to keep up with, you know, one hundred seventy-seven cans a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, during COVID, you guys have to kind of shut down for a week and then reestablish some stuff. Or it's funny. Uh, we uh, definitely retooled our people. I think in different areas more than anything else. Uh, we never shut down. Okay. It was, you know, definitely uh, we started, you know, providing, we had to shut down the restaurant. So yeah. we provided our, trying to keep our chef employed. So we had employee meals, you know, we did things like that. Mm-hmm. It was just more just reallocation, mm-hmm. kind of repurposing, redoing things at the brewery that yeah. we never did before. You know, obviously adding proper uh, yeah. uh, panels in between, things like that that we had to prepare for. But I don't think it really, uh, I would say, we never really shut down the brewery yeah. itself. And also, you know, during COVID, we, we already had plans to bring in the new canning line, to bring in the, the, the filler, everything. So that, that, was, that was happening. Yeah, it you was. Know? So it, it, was, it, was a, it was kind of an interesting time for us. And when Peter says we retooled people, we, our people aren't tools. But, um, <laughs> oh, I yeah, am. You know, it, I'm it, a big tool. If people tool. said, like, look, you know, if people said, you know, I want to work, you know, we had the head of our licensee sales going like, what do you need? You know, yeah. I'm going to come here. I'll, yeah, he was awesome. I'll, 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 I'll shunt things back and forth to the warehouse. I'm going to go on the line. I'm going to, you know, everybody pulled together yeah. because that's what you do. You know, we're kind of a family and we were just blessed to keep working, working through it. And you know, you know, I'm going to thank all the people out there who drank a lot during COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, COVID drinking is like airport drinking yeah. at 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, were you already uh, shipping? Were you already doing e-commerce prior no, to COVID? We were late to the game on that. We yeah, didn't okay. start till like June, and we wanted to. Okay. But it just took a long. T- we, we overthink everything. Mm-hmm. You know that. Like, so yeah. it took us a little while to get there. Forced our um, hand at the store though, which was great. Absolutely, I mean, we we're forced to do it. You're right. And at, and at the same time, we were kind of just. Uh, re- retooling oh, we retool a lot <laughs> our, our website we were just changing up yeah. our website a little bit and you know there's some there's some bad words around our brewery we don't use the word marketing <laughs> we uh, that's just uh, yeah. we don't do that we, I don't we, even know what that we think means. we're creating culture we're trying <laughs> yeah. to engage with people but i i think we're just making friends here we don't market but the other thing was um you know figure out how to you know, everybody's like well you could really monetize your website and i was mm-hmm. like well and it wasn't that it was just another way to connect with our drinkers people would ask us like look i'm locked up how can i get your beer yeah and so we realized you know okay you know this is this is a different this is a different way of just reaching you know your fans yeah. reaching people who are part of your community were you delivering so, around the area yep we did free delivery in, in barry and then we you know finally opened up our website now we're going all across canada i'm very so jealous great. very yeah. jealous of ontario because in quebec it was the, you can only go to the brewery you have yeah. to book yeah. a, uh, certain breweries you have to book a specific time to yeah. go get something yeah. so yeah. i'm very jealous of ontario yeah but that. we're jealous that they have people that would do that i mean that's phenomenal that you guys supported your local like yeah. that that's just you know that's everybody's dream yeah yeah no uh mm-hmm. very jealous uh definitely of you having beer deliveries it's fantastic so yeah. i'm hoping that kind of becomes a canada-wide thing i'm also adamant about get every beer in every province i, I know in quebec you might have to just slap on a sticker that says uh notre bière vient yeah. d'order but that's yeah. fine yeah you know um i i have no problem i've seen i, I know that some of the big guys they go through our local saq it's called mm-hmm. uh which is Société that got to quebec and they Brew Dog and there's some other breweries in the U.S. that go through there, mm-hmm. and the SQ literally slaps on a, a French sticker. Yeah. So, yeah. but we do need to share the love, yeah, share the yeah, beer. Yeah. I know most governments have gladly adjusted to helping smaller breweries across Canada, which is great too. So it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and I it, and you remember a lot of the breweries we grew up in 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 really a toxic environment. We had bad air to breathe for a mm-hmm. long time, and um, so if people have survived through that. You know, and and as every. Every couple of years, we see something happen with the market. Yeah. Something open up. It's getting more and more friendly for entrepreneurs and small businesses. For so, sure. You know, and I can't say one government has done it all. Yeah. You know, they understand how many people small businesses employ mm-hmm. in, in their communities. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. How yeah. many? It's all about jobs. Yeah, one one hundred percent. You know, if people aren't working, then they're not paying taxes, right? Hey, so, hey, yeah, we, if people aren't working, they're not buying beer, where, <laughs> which is taxed, which also goes to the government. So, it's manufacturing <laughs> jobs. It's you know, we're we're poetically inefficient. I always say, yeah. as manufacturers, you know, we're not very efficient. Yeah, yeah. 
So, but it's good. What is it? Thirty thousand people in Ontario, I think, equivalent jobs, indirect and direct. Yeah. Yeah, Ontario craft brewers. Yeah, that was a stat. Yeah. A stat. Yeah. yeah. Which is awesome. That's that's great. Because yeah. you're a province of fourteen million. Fourteen million. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think so. you're just slightly above us and we're number two or something like that. I think that, it's like so. a Kevin Bacon measurement, yeah. right? Everybody knows somebody who yeah. probably owns a craft brewery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thanks. I mean, through the show, we're meeting a lot of people who uh, who drink craft beer and uh, like craft beer. Uh, what's number two I'm going to be trying here? Oh, the one that I'm almost done? Yes. Uh, that's <laughs> Mutants are, are revolting, yeah. I believe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's this one right here. So people ask us about that name because there is an episode of Futurama that was called The Mutants Are Revolting, if you guys are Futurama fans. Yeah. But... Also, it has significance because uh, Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo, like, worked on the soundtrack on that particular episode. Very cool. And it was just perfect because this is a mutation for us in that mm. we did a 4.5%, I, you know, IPA. Session so IPA. We, call, we call it the crushable. It's yeah. crushable IPA. Mm-hmm. We, said we had to call it something different than everybody else, right? No, it definitely goes down yeah. super yeah. smooth. And also uh, had a little fun. bit of old nope. West Coast in there, too. Absolutely. So it's kind of neat. Absolutely a little West Coast style so in there. a little bit of retro. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting – it's like drinking a slightly – slightly bitter version of the lager but that's my palate i mean yeah, i can't yeah i can't say it for other people who are like oh i hate all pia no it's, you should how? it's that it's other uh, lawnmower lawnmower uh-huh. ipa <laughs> it's, but it's refreshing yeah. and I, they did a really beautiful job with the, with the hops on that one too i think uh, our brewers fant- are phenomenal phenomenal guys yes yeah, that fantastic hop if, if i'm having a barbecue in the backyard after mowing the lawn this is yep. what i'm going this that's is your I'm beer can chicken so. beer too that's <laughs> <laughs> A lot of these are lower IBUs, to be quite candid, purposely. I mean, we want crushable beers. I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. people don't yeah. want that raw, yeah. well, harsh bitterness. You want hop flavor. You don't yeah. want bitterness, you know? And, and people are learning how to be a lot more artistic and with the amount of hops. I mean, and the, all the new hybrids, all the new things, all the things we have available to us. You know, we did Tiny Little Wizards last winter, which was a pure Southern Hemisphere hop IPA. You know, so we had all hops from, like, South Australia, New Zealand, uh, South Africa. So it was it was pretty cool because That's now wild. we have all that stuff available to us. And it's, it's yes. companion piece this year is going to be um, Tiny Little Blizzards. And we're going to do a Northern <laughs> Hemisphere IPA. Yeah, it's going to be all uh, Northern Hemisphere hops. So it'll be fun. Very cool. I love it. Uh, your names and labels, so unique, so wild. Where, where does that originality come from? Oh. The beer meetings, the beer. Yeah. It comes from the beer. It really does. We have a very finite beer committee that really sort of, I mean, Andrew does all the... Uh, all the graphic design and uh, concept development for the uh, the appearance of a can, which is huge. I mean, it really. But it's also, I mean, we probably have the most uh, intelligent. Uh, oh God, thanks. That's nice. I don't, I don't hear that writing, very often. Write, writing. What? Thanks. Sometimes when you're an thanks. English major and uh, yeah. Our tasting but, notes. You love them or you hate them. Yeah. <laughs> and we do get people. Uh, yeah, but no, it's, it's, you know, again, it's a team effort. I mean, yeah. there's really, when yeah. you look at our breed, it's flying monkeys, plural, not flying monkey. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We always correct people us. about that. I'm like, yeah. stupidly, we designed the logo with one monkey. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's definitely a team. Everything we do is, is, a, is a team effort. And, and we have fun. Like, something about the labels, like, you want them to be visible, you want them to pop off the shelf and all that kind of stuff. But ours kind of don't. But you definitely say, what the hell is that mess over there? And then you go look at it. Yeah. But it, it, all of it has to speak of, you know, all the fun we had mm-hmm. creating the beer, tasting it, you know, it, it, fine tuning it. It's 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 a lot of work, but it is fun. We and do I, have a lot I of fun. I think that's our wheelhouse is yeah. fun IPAs, really, yeah. when you look at it. Yeah, very cool. So. Yeah, I'm very guilty some days of when I'm doing my beer shopping. I'm like, what looks wild? I don't yeah, care what yeah. it tastes like. Yeah. Oh, well, we do. What, what we know crazy, we do. So. You know, how did, when you were a kid, what cereal did you want? Yeah. You know, whatever box is the yeah. coolest one and had the neatest toy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I could give out decoder yeah. rings, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the delicious toys here are the alcohol, so. <laughs> the delicious beers. Uh, and you've won a few awards, which is also amazing too. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, awards are, I don't know, awards are awards. Yeah. You know, okay. we're, we can take them or leave them. We, we really brew beer for ourselves first and hopefully everybody likes it. Awesome. That's kind of our gig. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we, that's a really good attitude to have when you think about it, because you're putting your passion and, and your craft behind, you know, you're putting your words behind your yeah, craft yeah. and it's coming out and you're obviously quite successful or else you wouldn't be around 16 years in the craft beer industry. So. Yeah. I think it's selfish as fuck, but you know. <laughs> no, what, what, well, well you, so if we've been, a, we won awards when we were a younger brewery, mm-hmm. right? And we needed to establish ourselves and we also wanted to know you're you're younger and you really want that approval and that acceptance and you're like, are we doing it right? And yeah. so we, we would have... A, you know, you pay to be in award shows too. So it would, it would be hard to suck it up and say, you know, we had to spend $110 a beer, which sounds like nothing, but 
when you have days where you're telling people we, we aren't buying pencils this month, yeah. you know, we it would, it would take a lot to put a beer in, a, in an award. The no so, pencil month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've had them. We called them austerity measures. <laughs> um, but and, and, and we're proud. We're very proud of every award we get. We don't take it lightly. But then it's like, you know what? Um, we, have, we have an IPA that's won. And mm-hmm. it's won a couple times. Yeah. You know, let's back out and like open up the market now to, for somebody else to get that exposure. Because when you get an award, you get great exposure. It puts a new beer on the map for new people to drink. Hate that you know? word exposure. So, nah, we do hate yeah. that. Ex- you hate the word exposure. People ask you to give them free stuff. Yeah. But... <laughs> Yeah, but, we, we don't. But I do we say, do like, that, when, but so. when when a when a when a, a lesser known brewery or a mm-hmm. new brewery, I don't want to say lesser known, I say a new brewery wins a gold, and then they get published on the Ontario Brewing Awards or the Canadian Brewing Awards, and that's that means a lot because yeah. we we were there. Yeah. We were met. All of a sudden, met people like would like look at Chocolate Manifesto. Go, yeah, I heard that got an award, oh, or you know, like it, it, it was it was and it, it helped. Yeah, you know. But I, now you know what we can back off a little bit because we we've got some some shelf space in the LCBO, and we've got some people that support us. We we know who we are. Back then, we were still figuring out who we are. Yeah. That's a good point. I mean, I was the same way. Like, I used to have a job where I couldn't afford to buy Chocolate Manifesto along oh, with yeah. four of your cans, or I would just yeah. buy the four cans because I get four beers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, thankfully, I'm, I'm gainfully unemployed yeah. where I can buy two Chocolate Manifestos, yeah. age one, oh. and then drink the next You're one. You're brilliant. So. <laughs> and you know, and that's a lot to do with the, the smaller formats and the cans, too, because mm. we're just looking at people going like, craft beer has got to be affordable, yeah. you know? You know, we're not, not everybody can go out there and just by utopias to sip <laughs> no uh on the show we've had it it, it was pretty fantastic yeah, yeah, but yeah. i can't ever see myself buying it again it's yeah. just it, it's an experience but for, you yes. experience it and you wanted to do that we have a the one beer that we don't have here is, is our invictus you know and it's yeah. just because we sold out before i can't say if i've had i'll be honest i've had so many crap yeah, of yeah, your beers yeah, yeah. if i've mm. had it it's probably on my untapped and i probably rated it because yeah, 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 i yeah, i use yeah, my untapped yeah. like people use pokemon go i just yeah, I keep yeah. track of <laughs> everything i drink so. i think you you know you talk about awards it's probably my proudest beer when it comes to ratings i mean it mm-hmm. it's number two right now on untapped and mm-hmm. can of beers in canada yeah so it's yeah, we're, ve- yeah. we're very, yeah. very yeah. proud of that but beer. But it's a Solera program beer that's yeah. years in the making. It's done in bourbon barrels, and every year is a little different. You know, one year we put it out at uh, 16% a, alcohol. Yeah. The next time it's 18.4. Mm-hmm. We got a 17%. It's a it's it's one of those ones you do just because you love Yeah, you just release craft. it once a year. The beer geeks yeah. flock to it. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> and we do it for, uh, it's another beer we probably just brew for ourselves more than anything. Yeah, it is. It, we, you, and you brew it for the craft beer community. You brew it for the people that want to experience it. You guys and have never you, had it before? I know. I can't, I, 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 I'll be honest, I can't. I've had so many. I've, I've tried over 4,000 different Divinity's beers. Divinity's like so. the little yeah, sister. You know. Divinity's okay. the little sister yeah. of Cut. Invictus. <laughs> yeah, really, right. We're leaving. I'm going to see if I can get a no. bottle here, though. So I'm going to go to the third beer you brought me today. Yes. I think that's Freak Show Crush. Freak Show Crush. Hazy IPA. Light percentage? Or no, it's a it's a solid seven percent. Oh no, it's not. It's six point. I mean, it's six point three percent. Okay, I was gonna say six point four. But I'm I'm noticing. I I can recite all of the the text on the can. I think we bred seven hundred children over the course of our lifetime. So (laughs) I'm not even. Yeah, I should know all the cores. So no, no, I I I have no memory. Um, What what I am noticing is is a lot of the six. And above IPAs I've been having on the show recently do not taste like six and above IPAs. So. Oh. Yeah. Meaning they taste lighter. H- you H- think? Hiding yeah. the IBUs or yeah. hiding the ABVs yep. same, is same pretty thing. cool. Yeah. yeah. This is not a six percent beer. Yeah. Beer. Because that's that means you've done a beautiful job with hops. Mm. That's that's my theory. Oh, it's yeah. Incredibly smooth. Yeah. This is my second favorite of my children right now of my yeah. cores. My first favorite's probably Sparkle Puff, I would yeah. think. And I just like that we got to sneak in a Flannery O'Connor quote mm. in there. <laughs> the truth does not change according to your ability to stomach it. That's awesome. I think that's words for that's our wild. times. Words for our times. Yeah. Like I said, <laughs> you're, you're labeling, your mar- in a sense, you're marketing. I know you don't like to use the no, word, I'm joking. but joke. it we is don't. pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, and it's I interviewed uh, one of your sales reps, uh, Mary Bailey. Oh, my God, I love Mary. Uh, yeah. On her show, and she's like, yeah, you got to come here when it's safe. I'm like, oh, the numbers are going yeah. down. Yeah. So you were the first one I contacted. Thank you. So. Mary's yeah. awesome. Yeah, uh, um, she's she is a little. We call her Stretch because she's a little bit tall. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not what her yeah. Instagram profile. If we couldn't afford a, a robot, we thought Mary would be the only person short enough to fit back there in that little corner <laughs> in, in corner the packaging just, area. Right. Poor Mary. <laughs> we got to find a couple more Marys. The blow dryer, <laughs> blow dryer, getting the plastic all tight on the bear. <laughs> uh, that's another like super smooth. 
barely taste the alcohol. It, it's very, very good. Big melon, well, big. Uh, I love the tropical in terms, flavors. Yeah, in terms of hazy, I really enjoy um, Freak Show. It's, it's gone, so. Yeah, no, cheers. it's nice beer. Very tasty beer. Yeah, cheers. Okay, man, that's, that's the nicest thing I see is empty glasses with lacing yeah. on them. That's yeah, beautiful. You do your job You well. are good. I, I do my best to uh, drink uh, beer yeah. when I can. So. You're a pro. Yeah. Uh, in between, he's turning off the camera and spitting yeah. it out. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Another uh, one of these. Another hazy IPA. <laughs> so prior to our interview, you showed us downstairs all the pictures of all the collaborations you've done with people. Uh, can you mention some of those collabs? They're all messy. Okay. Every one of them. <laughs> Every time you put two brewers there, it's always a junior brewer that does all the work, and the owners just sit Stand there and drink. drink. Sit <laughs> <around> drinking. <laughs> it's always like that. It's always like that. Glad to see yourself aware. I think that my favorite collab, though, of all time, had to have been the one at Casper, Casper Brewers in Rotterdam, mm-hmm. uh, because we were in the middle of a brewer, and I remember it had this old wooden water ton, and in the middle of the brew, everything was intense, and this couple comes in and they're like hey we just got married we want to do our wedding pictures on your brew house they're having their wedding at the brewery and i'm home and peter's no, their wedding's next door oh, but they come in and they, oh. yeah and they bust through the doors of the i have brewery the pictures they, of peter yeah, with this, crazy. this beautiful bride this really happy guy and they're there like you know with you know just crap yeah. all over them and rubber boots going you know, th- that, so was, that was a cool one but yeah, no, also anyway. i think the quad collaboration was kind of cool as well yeah, yeah with central city no sorry it was that with, was a coast to coastless was, coast yeah. to coast it was phillips yeah. It was with uh, uh, Trudeau Diable. Diable and uh, which I can't say in French. Brian out at Garrison. De- devil in a pot. And it's Devil's Hole. Yeah. yeah I was like, so. Devil in a pot. Like, oh. yeah. and, <laughs> and Brian out at Garrison. So yeah, yeah. it was kind of cool to wow. had one, get four yeah, breweries. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Very and that, cool. And that just actually happened from a drunk text <laughs> that I gave uh, Matt, Matt Phillips at Phillips Brewing <laughs> at like two in the morning. We were wasted we were in uh, some, Calgary. Yeah. We have the same distributor. Two in the morning in Calgary, or two in the morning. No, two in the morning in Calgary, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I'm just like, hey, Matt, we got to do a collab together. And <laughs> yeah. so we all met at the Craft Brewers Conference in Portland that year, and we well, we all got along, so it worked out really well. Yeah, very that's awesome. Fun. Yeah. That's fun. Everybody, it's a brethren. Like she's yeah. like Andrea said, we all get along really well. I mean, yeah. you know, I'll I'll text whoever, and you know, again, Brian is a good example uh, out in uh, out out east. You know, we'll text back and forth and mm-hmm. just talk about anything. And that's really what's so cool about this industry is we, you know, we we like to compete on the shelf. We don't need mm-hmm. to compete on how we, you know, brew the beer. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Any um, uh, well, now I'm saying once it's a little less COVIDy out there. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> any dream collabs you guys have? Gosh, dream collabs. Dream collab- we're open. Yeah, we're always come, open. Come find us. One day Seriously. it'll happen. Yeah, I don't. I would love. Everything's a dream when it comes to collaboration. Yeah, yeah, I it mean, is. It every is. time you collaborate, it's such a beautiful experience. And everybody that you collaborate with brings something to the table that you don't have, and that's the cool thing. You learn something, yeah. you know? You know of any uh, maybe kind of new ones in Quebec that you'd like to try? Because you guys were literally kind of, well, I know it's six hours from here to, to Quebec, more or less, but any friends maybe in Quebec that you're like, let's yes. brew a beer with? I, so. I've wanted to do a. Who do you want us to brew with? I'm going to be candid. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, you know wait, the scene wait, better so, than hey, we do. You asked me a question. I'm no, trying to figure out the answer now. Come on. just trip, Peter. Just. You're, you're, you're here just to be pretty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. Uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, I'll say my first three interviews. I'd like you guys to brew with La Brasse in Point Claire, Quebec, uh, Kahnawake Brewing in Kahnawake, uh, Quebec, and uh, Luke's in Dorval. So, Sounds great. Yeah. So Who do you want to do? I want to do Charlevoix. I think it would be kind of cool. Very cool. I think we get along really well. I, like, I think they have a, just a romance to their branding and everything. Mm-hmm. That would really, I think we'd, we'd do a good job. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Look forward to it yeah. when you guys can do it. It's one of my Isn't that the name of a, of a variety of cow? Uh, I know it's, Did I make uh, that up? it's a, well, we call it the Metro, but it's Subway. Yeah. Uh, it's a Metro stop in oh, Montreal. Cool. Okay, I know cool, that. Cool. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> but it is, yeah. I thought it was a city. Isn't that where they did the, uh, the what do you call it? Uh, they brought everybody into for I the. They know uh, more about the, Quebec than we do. The G7. I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm yeah. just. Yeah, Peter, you are correct, I, I, I kind of know my Montreal and then the island above Montreal, yeah. which is Laval, yeah. and then the South Shore people that I know, so I don't... All right, uh, we're going to have to go back and rewatch this yeah. and get those three names that he mentioned Unfortunately, there. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I don't travel Quebec as much as I should have in the past, uh, but with COVID, I will be traveling Quebec I think we should ask so. the question, who would put up with us as a collaboration? Yeah, really? They're going to see this. <laughs> Drew. Like, oh, my God, I hope they don't call. Drew and Troy, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, yeah. okay, those fucking idiots, we don't want yeah. them here. Uh, Troy from La Brasse and Drew from Kahnawake would definitely put up with both of you. No problem. So, Yeah, they're, they're fun. Collaborations are just to get a chance of seeing what people are doing and learning. For yeah. me, it's more learning. 
I'm, I always pick up something from any brewery I visit, which is kind of neat. Plus also teaching your craft at the same time for maybe newer guys too. Oh, so. Share. Yeah, we yeah. always share. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Like you said, you're just a big community that kind of, we got to yeah. stick together yeah. and keep going. So yeah. that's very important. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what's number four I'm going to be trying here? Juicy ass, I think. Yeah, I think that's classic juicy ass. Yes. Classic juicy I know. ass. Well, it's, it is Are you now. Are going to make a WAP beer? <laughs> By the way, if you do, I expect my name on that. That's juicy. <laughs> That's really, yeah, really. I'm going to put the label right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely get That's... the Simcoe in there. Mm-hmm. Another six or so? 6.2 or four. <laughs> yeah, but are cheap. <laughs> you have so many beers, though, in your lineup. And like you said. 6.5, I thought. I was gonna, you've had I was like gonna... a thousand oh, children. That's so. It is. Mm. Yeah. And you love and hate them all the same. Another one completely no alcohol to for me and it it's just it's going down smooth so it's already half done so <laughs> so the, everybody always asks us about the name of that one and the first time the brewers brewed that just for themselves they had this is ah, is this beer five years old now peter yeah. we gotta check i think it's coming up on an anniversary it That's might scary. be coming up on five years we're old and they <laughs> these were like this is back when all these were you know ctz these hops were like new these were the yeah. new hops now they're standard everybody's they're in everyone's arsenal but the breweries just wanted to do, the brewers wanted to do a beer and they just said, let's just use all those juicy ass hops. And it's <laughs> slang. It's not like a bad word or anything. And they made it, Brandon, it was one of his first beers. He kind of did the recipe himself and they entered it. We were younger. They entered it in the Ontario Brewing Awards and the little stinker won an award with it. So I'm like, well, I'm stuck with the name. Once you win an award, mm-hmm. then people kind of, you, you, you're kind of on the radar. We can't just yeah. change the name and we'll look really lame. Or we'll look like we weren't standing behind. Yeah. So yeah. So the next year he entered it again, he went to bronze. Next year, retooled it. It's it went to a production and it was a gold medal IPA. Awesome. We know, we haven't entered it again That's since a good then, point. but you know what? And and we thought about this. You know, like everybody's like, oh my god, what about these poor, you know, wait staff that have to go yeah. endure the jokes of you know, <laughs> what a juicy ass. You know, I said I worked at a seafood restaurant when I was in university. And I had to wear a T-shirt that says, I got my crabs from Nick. Crabs, yeah. You know, like Nick's crabs. So I'm like, it, I said, everybody's going to ask. I'm not being sexist, you know. <laughs> Guys will get abused. Women will get abused. Every We will Gosh. abuse everyone across yeah. the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've seen it. And on, nobody's really given it a hard time. I've everybody seen accepted it, it. So many places where somebody works at seafood restaurants, I got crabs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. Come it's like, if I had to wear that, this is not bad. <laughs> no. This is... <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> Crazy. Ooh. Another super tasty surprisingly crushable 6.5 percent beer so yeah so that's the key you don't want yeah. that ethanol burn going down the throat yeah, yeah. oh yeah none at all yeah. and yeah. that one's just i just i just love the balance of juicy ass i love that it still has hops in it but it doesn't destroy you when you're drinking it and yeah no it's it's a it's a really nice beer now your lineup's pretty fantastic I, there's really only a handful of beers i've i've haven't had because ever since i got in the craft beer journey i have family in ontario so it's like go oh, is a family mm. who live next to an lcbo yeah Let's oh, grab, I love that you call it a journey. Let's That's grab it. these 10. It is a journey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, and yeah, like yeah. I said, it's my Pokemon. I got to try and drink them all. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it just keeps going. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Very fantastic. And and I'm a big fan. Just the brew, your brew pub, I guess, restaurant to this. It carries over from the cans yeah. to the restaurant yeah. too. It's some wild, all yeah. your seats yeah. have, or Almost all your seats have some writing on them. The one I'm sitting on says, yeah. you're a wizard, Harry. It's, oh, it yeah. just keeps going. Oh, my daughter did that so one. Yeah. <laughs> it's great that you guys are so passionate that you have – everything draws an eye somewhere, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Got to keep you busy yeah. Yeah. so you don't get bored here. Yeah, I was just, my brain's just taking it all in, too. Yes. That's why I was missing words before. Yeah. It's like, welcome so. to the attic of pop culture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when it's a little safer to travel again and you have a little time, because obviously you're very busy, but you have a little time vacation to take, any beercations you haven't been on that you'd like to? That's a good question. You've been traveling more than me. Yeah. Yeah, I still... I. You had such a great time in the Portland area, and that was the one of the trips that I didn't get to go on. I, I want to hit that. Like, we've done... Denver, we've done Fort mm-hmm. Collins, we've done Boulder. That, those are amazing. I want to hit the Portland area. I've never been to Europe, oh, and right. I haven't been. Okay. To, I haven't done any of the European stuff. Yeah. So Peter, Peter's got to do a few more of those because when we did start this brewery, we uh, we opened our doors with three kids under the age of five. You know, and and, and I would say uh, you've heard that story. You've heard that from a lot of people who started a brewery because you know when you're 30s, you have the energy to do this. You know, now we're 
getting up there. Older. I'm 32 slightly now. Older, so. Slightly older, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, plus you had child labor built in already, so. But it is. There's a lot of trips. I, I, probably, have, I probably have a few more bucket lists than than Peter does, mm. but uh, I, I really want to go out and do that kind of like Portland area, and I, I, I didn't get to go on the... Um, any of the hop farm trips where you go do that oh, hop do buying hop, hop contracts like that's yeah, yeah. Hop like I see pictures cool. I was on FaceTiming practically yeah, that looked amazing mm -hmm. so I'd like to do that too we we just matter of fact this is the this week last year is this is the week we usually go do it yeah. and you guys will go and mm -hmm. it's just it's the neatest experience they sent pictures of the guys walking in the fields and you know it, cutting down the vines it, it is it's, <laughs> and it is you walk yeah. in and you have all these lots in front of you and they're like oh, these are all cascade hop this farm a farm yeah. b farm c they know and you notice a difference you know you know it's, it's like you know who grew the best tomato mm -hmm. and then you get to buy that guy's best tomatoes awesome. you know so it's really i think that's a cool thing i always wanted to do it's very cool yeah, yeah. i've never even thought i i mean i'd like to hit both portlands the yeah. one on the east yeah. uh in for Maine sure oh Oregon, absolutely for sure. yeah you're so, right you're right because the main yeah. beer scene is very i mean vermont is yeah. the place to go but yeah. maine yeah. also has yeah. a great beer scene yeah. so yeah. those are two states yeah. yeah that i feel as a canadian are a little safer to travel to so uh -huh. sure oh yeah i definitely want to check those, uh, yeah. those out and and portland oregon yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. on my list and then for for us as a show Belgium, Germany. Yeah, all I, those places, I will so. come with you. I'll, yeah. just, like, can I, I'll just carry Phil's bags around, you know? Oh, you need, yeah, just need an extra camera person. So. <laughs> I'd like to hit Prague, though, and you know, yeah. you gotta hit Czech yeah. Republic yeah. to really yeah. see how they make things. I mean, yeah. do it right, it'd be I, enjoyable. And maybe yeah. even, I'm gonna say it here, Asia. I wanna see what's going on there, Yeah. yeah. you know? The craft movement there is like blossoming, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it'd be really cool to go there as well. Yeah. I mean, I, everybody goes to Europe. I love Spain, one of my most oh, favorite yeah. places, I mean. You know, obviously Germany, but just to try somewhere new, see what the craft movement's all about yeah. there. Anywhere you go, there's a craft beer scene. Oh, like honest, any any small town, any small area, any yeah. region. You know, you know, I'm originally from the American South. There's like craft breweries in Alabama. Mm -hmm. My hometown of Huntsville, Alabama, has I think 15 craft breweries in it now. Yes. Like that's astounding. That's not a big town. I, yeah, it's it's you know yeah, yeah it's it's a pretty astounding. I know I know Florida and Texas have really stepped up their games from what I've heard. So oh, yeah. oh the Carolinas are, are huge. Yeah. The, you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah Georgia uh, Georgia's out you know everywhere I think I mean yeah, yeah. you can find little pockets yeah. of cool crap yeah. beer. Yeah. I I think we uh, we talked about it on our other show. Uh, there's the ultimate beer map for America, and you start mm. up in Maine, and then. You, you head along the Canadian border and then you head down to oh, California gosh. and then across the Florida and then back up. And it's like, if you have three months and that's without wow. factoring in uh, not drinking and driving. So I'm yeah. like, okay, so six months because yeah. you have to sober up. <laughs> yeah. You have to be a responsible adult because yeah, that's yeah. the last thing you need is driving an RV full of beer yeah. and then taking somebody out, you know, so... Uh, and I then, have to look up that map. That's yeah, fine. Uh, I've also been talking with the guys of, of we have to design our own Canadian version of that or find what are your best... 500 breweries to hit in Canada right now. So. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of breweries. And I know. Sounds and, messy. And like how many are opening up every day? Like yes. You, you would be outdate. Out of I'm, date so uh, yeah. quickly. I, I find Ontario's on yeah. pace for every one in Quebec right now, three in Ontario. Jesus. So, well, you know what? There's room for it. Yeah. Like look at a town like Barrie. We have three craft breweries here and there's room for more. Yeah. Like, and, and it's it's fantastic. You Your know, population the population of what, 45, 50,000? Peter? 150,000 oh, in wow. Barrie, okay. yeah. I always equate it to Fort Collins in Colorado where there's 40 breweries in a, same, a town the same size as Barrie. Mm -hmm. So that's really the capacity of what Barrie could handle. But think about that. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Well, so Vermont right now, uh, I just looked, 67 breweries and they have a population of 650,000 people. Yeah, see, that's amazing. Wow. In that state. Wow. Yeah, there's literally, imagine there was a brewery across the street that exists in oh. Vermont and Burlington, and Burlington for oh, us in Montreal is two yeah. hours away. So, oh cool, yeah. To have a beer centric community yeah. is just yeah. amazing. And they all support each other. They all talk to each other. They do. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, dude, dude, I'm out of these malts. Okay, I'll just send you yeah, some. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, we do, get do that. Also, yeah. Yeah. We find do that, that all too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. in town. Yeah, no, we're always sharing. We're part of that consortium of breweries. We call them North and Nine. Like Highway Nine is kind of what yeah. divides. Like you're no longer in even the GTA anymore. <laughs> so from here up, you know, there's Sawdust City up north. There's Lake of Bays. There's us. There's you know. So yeah, there's definitely. So speaking Borrowing of, and sharing. Yeah. So speaking <laughs> of that, uh, somebody comes here, tries your delicious and buys your lineup and goes. Uh, get some merch too. Yeah. Some nice glasses, a nice t-shirt. Uh, any friends in the area you suggest? Right, okay. right here in Barrie. There's Barnstormer Brewing Company and there's Redline. Cool. 100%. They're both fantastic. Little up the road, we've got Sawdust City in is that uh, Bracebridge, right? Uh, uh, Gravenhurst. Gravenhurst, Gravenhurst yeah. Sorry, I always get those two yeah. spots. And Muskoka phenomenal. And They're phenomenal. Bra Bracebridge. Yeah. Muskoka's in Bracebridge. There's Lake of Bays up there. Like yeah, all over. You can go out a little bit west to Collingwood, Collingwood and hit Collingwood Brewing Company. There's Side Launch out there. There's 
Um, so uh, many great places. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the Northwinds? Northwinds, they got a fantastic yeah. uh, brew pub. Their food is awesome. Their beer is great, and their food's great. Like there's. Is there- one in Innisfield or Innisfil? recently? Oh, yeah, Quails Brewery. Okay. Yeah, yeah just north of here, Noro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, so right. Innisfil South, those. this is north. Yeah, Quails. Okay. It's beautiful. Spectacular. It's, yeah. it's like a big, it's, it's built to be an event center type place. You know, it's beautiful. Yeah. They have hop farms, huge barn. It's like, yeah. Wow. All if right. I had $35 million, <laughs> yeah. no, no, I don't think that's what it costs. Uh, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> I guess when it's a little safe to travel back here again, we'll have to you, put them on should. the list it's for sure. Beautiful, beautiful uh, place. 100%. They, open up? they just opened up during COVID, really, right? Yeah. We've uh, yeah. we actually talked to a couple of uh, a couple of breweries who've been just open during COVID. It's, Big I think it's blows phenomenal. Our mind. Wow. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. So, you know, amazing. So it yeah. keeps going, uh, and you keep all the craft brewers in Ontario, Quebec. I don't know the rest of Canada because I really don't pay attention, um, especially to the West. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I do want to travel more. Last time I was in Alberta, I was I, you know as a BMC guy, I was like, oh here, let's just drink this Molson, yay, let's yeah. just drink yeah. this goose, but. That's a lot of things have changed since what then. What is BMC? So, uh, uh, Bud Molson Coors. God, good yeah. for you. So it's uh, that used to be yeah. what I drank. Yeah. Uh, and then we used to call it Mo Blatzman. Yeah. That was the Molson Labatt sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mo Blatzman. Um, I know in Alberta <laughs> there's an actual brewcade where there are brewery and an arcade. I'm like, I gotta go. Yeah. It's it's pretty simple. So we got pinball machines upstairs. Yeah. Oh, I love Sweet. pinball. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so what's this last beer from the flight you provided? I'm this gonna is my try favorite. It child at the moment i mean sparkle puff galaxy defender of the galaxy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sparkle puff Lo- yeah, yeah. love the design galaxy Star love the Fighter, laser defender of the galaxy. eyeball cat so yeah. that's rufus our, our cat by the way yeah, he, was the, he was the muse <laughs> totally yeah this is so, really yeah. in terms of a triple ipa i think it's like the 13th biggest seller at the lcbo and it's a triple which makes no yeah. sense but no it's, yeah. a, it's a fun beer, and mm-hmm. it's got everything you'd ever want, like a 1,000 pounds of peaches, yeah. and it's just insanity. And a cat that shoots lasers out of his and eyes. So I, what more did so, you want? So we've tried this on another show, and I told my friends it was 10%, and they called me a liar. Yeah. They're like, there's no way. Yeah. So. We have an alkalizer downstairs yeah. that'll yeah. validate that. 10.4. I know that one by heart. It's, just, yeah. it's so it's, incredibly it, smooth. Yeah, it, that's and the problem. It's funny because people, uh, it, this is the beer you would think a triple IPA. This is the beer that people that don't really drink a lot of craft mm-hmm. beer. It's a stepping stone beer. I don't know, beer. just because yeah. it's ten percent, awesome. they figure it's a good you know pre drinker or something. I don't know, <laughs> but it it it's huge. Like yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I recently had a triple IPA and it was just it burned all the way down. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't drink this, and it's very rare. It's very rare, but yeah. I had to drain pour it because yeah. I could not drink yeah. it. Oh. And especially after spending four fifty yeah. on a I can know. of a triple oh. IPA, it's very frustrating to do. It's there's three beers in my life I've ever drained poured. Yeah. So. Well, you know what? Hey, at least we're we're not buying it four packs or yeah, six no, packs. No. <laughs> you know, yeah. Anymore. Four packs. Like I gotta say, I, I do love single serve as a consumer. Yeah. <laughs> four pack is a dangerous night yeah, of triple yeah. IPAs. Yeah, it's so true. I, it's I once I once did uh, I kind of do a weekly Thursday tasting at home and I Instagram it all. And, yeah. Uh, I did a double IPA and then ended the night with a triple IPA and I was just on the floor at the end of the night. So. Yeah. We're really digging that th- our newest beer that I, I we, we should pour for you. We'll send you home with it. Yeah, is uh, this Adventures in Time serving? So it's a blood orange nice mango beer. double IPA. It is juice. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just and it's and um, everybody keeps asking me if there's a lactose in it. Yeah, but the brewers pulled out that Sabro hops. It's got that coconut husky creamy mm-hmm. kind of hop character. It's it, it's beautiful. It's a lovely beer. This, I swear I hear a phone ringing. Somewhere. I do hear a yeah. phone, like an old this, school phone. Uh, this is sparkle phone? puff is absolutely fantastic. Did you, did you not turn your phone off during this interview? Uh, Peter. I usually try not to make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very... Uh, it, it happened to me earlier where I forgot to record this while I was talking to a, uh, another brewer. That's so an that, awesome story. We had to do take yeah. two. Yeah. See, those are the stories I like to hear. Tell us the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> No, the sparkle puff is... And you're going to Photoshop me and make me look hey, like... Phil, you need, you need, oh Phil needs a refill, yeah. too. Uh, yeah. Sparkle puff is beyond mind-blowing. It's Ooh, such a good his, beer. That's going to be your new t-shirt name. We're going to get yeah. you a brewer shirt. It's just going to say refill. <laughs> that's awesome. Like, refill. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. We'll do a P-H-I-L. Are you a P-H? Or, yeah, of course you're a P-H, right? Yeah. Like, he's not an F-I-L-L? <laughs> 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 My mother named me Phil. I don't know. Phil <laughs> 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 in. <laughs> My name is Famali. <laughs> Phil's a camera guy here, and he's uh, actually, he's surprising. He's like six foot eight. He's kind of weird looking. <laughs> I keep maybe talking because he's, de- he's devastatingly he handsome. Yes. I know. Like yeah. a buck I'm 80, sorry, maybe Peter, a buck I, 20. It's so rude for me to like hit on other guys in front but, of my husband. But it's I'm, all good, man. For some reason, I'm hitting I'm, on Phil, too. I'm <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know what? We have, this, we have a lot in common. <laughs> for 
for some reason, I'm the face of the show. I just... <laughs> It's like he's got a beard. Throw him on the camera. You're cute. <laughs> well, you know, we'll get a sharpie and draw some tats up the arms for you next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one. It's very small, and I got one of sixteen, okay. but that's about it. So. <laughs> okay, now I got to know what yeah, is we, it. A small like? dragon. My uncle paid oh, for it at my sis- after my sister's wedding. Oh my god! My uncle drunk. He's like, you want to get a tattoo? I'm like, sure. It's like if you cry, oh you gotta god. pay for it. Oh my so, god! Can I see yeah. it again? What's that? Can I see it again? Oh, it's a small dragon. It's really, it's 20, Gosh. 24 years I've had it now. Since wow. we're 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I go for the tattoo, and my uncle's like, tell him you're 18. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. No <laughs> problem, Uncle Tommy. Cool, though. You hey, what's his uncle's name? Uncle what? Uh, it was Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy. Uh, he's unfortunately passed away, oh. but it's, uh, yeah. Because I say like, we got to do a, a yeah. beer now that's just all tattoo art, and we're going to call it Uncle Tommy. <laughs> you, just, uh, you, you need to. The old school, like, uh, tribal bro tattoos, yeah. sleeve things. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of your employees brought us along a lovely beer that you're speaking of, the Invictus. A 18.4% bourbon barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout. It's a Solera, too. Even better. It's a um, beautiful design, beautiful bottle, beautiful smell. Uh you said there's very limited of this left in Canada. Yeah. In the world. In the world. <laughs> the, I think the, we're down to the like The next six incarnation cases. is coming out soon. Yeah, when, the I don't 2017. Know when. So as soon as I make a box every, for it. I think we release it every four years. So wow. it yeah. usually it takes four years to make. Yeah. So it is a Solaris. That's so a it's, it's actually blended out to 2012. Is that right? I think I'm yep. pretty sure. Yep. That's so the barrels, the barrels go back to 2012. Yeah. So it has a little bit of 2012 in it, but it is uh, it's a 2016. Yeah. We're very proud of this beer. And the base, the base rush, the base Russian Imperial Stout that you you guys brew it to already be mm-hmm. like 12, 14 percent or something before it even goes in the barrels, right? Correct. I can't wow. remember what it is, but like they yeah, you pulse ferment, ferment that thing. Yeah. And it gets it's a lot big, of work. And then it goes in and whatever it absorbs out of the barrels, that's yeah, that's yeah. the neat part, right? That's why we have Typical beer would be maybe a, you know, 12 hour day uh, for something like this. Yeah, you're yeah. looking at three days just to brew for, it. Yeah. And then you've Insanity. got how many, you know, how many days in the fermenter, six weeks, how and many? lovingly caressing the barrels and rotating them around. Yeah. And yeah. The yeah. smell is just dancing yes, on my old factory. It's... And plus the cap, in heaven there is no beer, so drink some now. Well, you were here. Oh, there you I'm, go. They're all different. That's the one you I got. I love that. That's the one you got. And Sandra's uh, father told me that Snap that, yep. Snapple in the U.S. So Drink one to Bernie Woods again. right here. There you go. Uh, to so and to we'll Tommy, too. To Uncle toast. Tommy. Cheers. To, 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 Tommy. to Uncle Cheers, Tommy and BP yeah. Woods. To Uncle Tommy. Oh, yep. To tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> to bad tattoos. To dragon and, tattoos. To noses. And the beautiful. end of the Cold War. And to fill with an F. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's exactly what you need at about 10 in the morning. Wow. Is it 10 in the morning? It's noontime. It's like drinking Ooh. raisins, huh? We're good. Yeah, you probably get a lot of dark fruit, raisins. Oh, my God. That's five. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah. Oh my god. You you don't have to. I don't like you like it in front of us, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 but if you don't, I'll kill I'm you. I'm very, I'm very, very honest on the show, so you'll just see my reactions yeah. on the yeah. camera. Yeah. Uh, no BS yeah, here. Yeah. So really? I'm, I'm far from an actor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Phil said you're a fucking liar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Peter, you dropped the f bomb. Don't do that. Uh, uh, we'll cut that. This is fantastic. Wow. I can't believe this is yeah. an 18 percent beer. Yeah. Oh my god! Ooh. It is you. You drink it like a port or a cognac, or yeah, you know, yeah. this is. I think definitely letting it war like keeping it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Slightly it, room it, temperature it's even a little cold much. right now because I think it came from uh, over at the warehouse. I don't oh. even like even let it go for a little bit more. Wow, that's mind blowingly good. I thought the temperature was dead on. Actually, come no. on. No, this is. Uh, you agree? This to is disagree. Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, yes. Fist, so, fist fight. Fist fight. <laughs> it's, it's where to go from here. Uh, so what's next? What do you see? What's next for the Flying Monkeys brands? I know you're pretty much all over the world, but where, where do you are. see? Where do you see yourselves going next? You know what? Fashion lingerie. I think so. It's a good point. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just, just uh, the Flying Monkey wings coming out of the back of the bra. <laughs> no. I'm thinking more what. Gimp suit and ball, right? No, we stop that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, next for the flying monkeys? I think I would say that our runway, we only look three months out pretty much. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe six months. Mm-hmm. I think that's important. I mean, things are changing so rapidly. Yeah. You know, we, for about the last couple years, you do something, one time you did it, two times it's a pattern. Yeah. You know, and so now it's to the point where people expect like, oh, I loved that beer. Are you ever going to bring it back? And it's like, there's like nine million other 
things we want yeah. to do that's a double right. IPA. You know, Way we kind of yeah. we have a tendency ideas. to do di- double IPAs, one in the fall, one in the spring, right? And you know, then you're like, wow, everybody that really so loves you know. Systematic, Phil. I mean, it, it, it really kind does. of is though. Like you got a calendar and you got to plan it out. I'm, I'm. It, there's nothing wrong with no, adding not method to the madness. I mean, chaos breeds opportunity, but you know, you got to know when to I like take that. it. <laughs> But uh, uh, and, and then you're like, when do you, do you reintroduce a beer? That's 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 my biggest thing. And part of me is like, it's <laughs> another can. We don't have to design. It's already done. Let's you know, come on. My life's easier. Uh, I have skate a little yeah. bit. But no, we we but overbought this label. Like every now and then, I, you like like Psycho Thrill Seekers was our double IPA I last that spring. Beer, it was amazing. I, oh, I really enjoyed that beer, and we'd love to bring it back. Don't spill on your. Apparatus. But we have about ten yeah. others that we want to do. So that that's my that's that's the big question. You know, do you ever, do you bring back beers? It all depends. You know, we retired Smash Mom. That was hard to retire that yeah. beer. That was hard. That hurt. That, you know, but uh, that's, that's, that's the next thing. You can't, you can't sustain, you know, mm-hmm. 16 beers. Like, we only have so many fermenters. Yeah. So yeah, Unless you're knocking down next door or something that's for rent yeah, right now. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. You're not expanding yeah. anytime soon, yeah, but no. you do produce a lot of beer. Uh, I'm consistently seeing you in all the yeah. LCBOs yeah. in Ontario. I'd love you guys to get in Quebec. It's just a matter of crabby Canadian beer laws that have to go bye-bye, in my opinion, because nothing's changed since Prohibition. They're obsolete. I agree. I don't... I say it all the time. We need a prime minister who's about craft beer. (laughs) And then he'll talk to their provinces, but you just got to convince all those premiers to snap. Like, you guys have... Doug Ford, from what I've seen, has been more like, open it, keep going. You know, yeah. Let's bring in business and well, even driving in, it the, says Ontario. Kathleen Wynn opened started it yeah. with the Liberals. She's the one that started. She's the one that finally just said to the to the. Are we getting the, all political here? No, yeah. but, Phil? You, but, well, yes and no. When it, you but, think about but it's it. true. It's it's very much there is politics in craft beer yes. because we're in a market where they they deny entry to for the longest time. You know, like I said, when the the little breweries, the people that are bigger now, like let's say you know Great Lakes and yeah. Spos and Steam was like big, really phenomenal mm-hmm. breweries. You know, we grew up breathing like toxic air yeah. like nobody wanted us in the in- it felt like nobody wanted the industry to survive right oh, so, or expansion in general yeah, like yeah stay you in know? your little bubble exactly <laughs> so. yeah 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 they wanted you to stay in your box yeah so that would that that's interesting i i think politics it does become part of craft beer too because also craft beer it, it moves with culture and a lot of the, a lot of our best practices that are just now getting into the larger culture we were already doing you know craft beer was already about diversity and mm-hmm. embracing people yes. and you know, doing our best to represent our communities and and supporting our communities and doing charity works and, and just trying to be right just trying to be good neighbors yeah. no. and um you I'm, know. Done. I'm done with this yeah, i know i know i know <laughs> no that's uh that's very important that you uh you want to do yeah. you, you know just su- support the community refill yeah oh. i mean you, you, have, you have like like i spoke with mary and mary's very Let's let's conclude diversity. Let's do this kind of stuff. So it's the fact that you're doing that is very important. Yeah, yeah, you know? tr- everybody tries. Everybody yeah. tries to to, to, yeah, to, just, to do it. But yeah, yeah. So sorry, I digress. No, no, no. It's it's very that important, and, and that yeah. Like I said, I, I totally look forward to the days yeah, yeah, you guys just yeah. slap a French label on and then ship it out to Quebec. I'm, so. I'm looking forward to that day, too. I would love to. I would love to. Uh, so I have no other questions for you. This talk has been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, like, once he's again. cutting it down. He's like saying, yeah, he's you like, need to shut the f*** up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> shut her down, because I'm done with you guys. No, but I'm I need actually, to get the f*** out of he, here. He was worried, that you, were, he was worried <laughs> that you weren't going to so. give him anything, Pete. Yeah, like, yeah, we're done. And if I had sat here by myself, I'd be It's fine. Dangerous. Okay, I didn't know she was coming. <laughs> yeah, I do appreciate the time you actually... I work alone. I, my, I don't get to see anybody. <laughs> I, um, we always appreciate anybody who's willing to give up their time for us. So, Thank you. No, thanks. Uh, I have no other questions, uh, but yeah. people visiting the Barry region, let them know where they can find you. No, no, just yeah. your address. We're 107 Dunlop Street East, downtown yeah. Barry. Just come to the waterfront and you'll see yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, physical, uh, social media? Yeah, we're on social media. Okay, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> flying monkeys. <laughs> what is that? Are you at flying monkeys? Wait, wait are you, are you talking about computer uh, shit? I don't. I don't know. Wait, we're uh, talking about computer uh, shit. There's that little picture of a camera at the bottom of the website. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and on Facebook, we're on Facebook. Okay, so we'll. But get... I, I don't do Twitter very yeah. much. It got nasty. You know though. what? Can I make a recommendation? Just type in. I don't even know how to spell it. Flying just, monkeys. If you just, I guarantee we usually it. get yeah. us. Usually yeah. get us. Yeah, yeah, you get us somewhere. Like you know, you might even get my home address after the Wizard of Oz. After the Wizard. <laughs> I, th- I think we're actually a yeah. The it, first, and, and there is yeah. I, there was a Flying Monkeys beer in Kansas City 
for a couple of years, as it should be. Flying I mean, monkey. you know, Kansas. Yeah. yeah, I think they were they were right. They were singular. Contract brewing, yeah, I believe. Yeah, but contract brewing too. Yeah, wow. just Google. Yeah, yeah, we're, I think we're at, at, at the Flying Monkeys is, is Instagram. Okay, it's at the Flying Monkeys. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah. Well, Wait, have you guys met Chris? Yeah. Chris is the guy that Chris. was actually doing all the. Uh, during COVID, he was the guy doing all the shunting and he worked the yeah, canning yeah, line and yeah, everything like that. Yeah. Awesome. Like, like, he's a great Kept guy, too. Busy. And he's freaking handsome. I know, <laughs> I know. Take that mask off, man. I know. We should have had him sit here guy. and well, Peter just go behind right? him. Yeah. Come on, look yeah. at that beard. The guys, it's all 8.8. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But you've got, you've got, you've got the, the, the key arms there, Dave. You've got the friggin' Phil, man. The sleeves, yeah. sleeves. Phil with an F box. Uh, yeah. Awesome. So we are. I don't know. if You want to plug us on social media? People find you, well, right? People yeah. Just, don't yeah. plug us. I just put people Google it. We, uh, Thank you, though. You know, what did you? What are you on? What, what's your? Uh, so that's where it comes in. So yeah. we're gonna add all of this on okay. our show notes. Yes. As for us, allbeerinside.com is the website. All inside, at all beer inside is everywhere else. Uh, and as I say at the end of all episodes, drink craft, not crap. Woo! I that know that good. one.